Hey guys, Six Sharper back here with another video. Um, breaking news. Um, Tyler Buckner, quarterback from Notre Dame. Um, transfers to Alabama. Oh my goodness, man. Alabama's quarterback room this year is not looking very good, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't watched Alabama's spring game, but people in the spring, people who have actually watched the spring game, most of them I heard said that Alabama, especially on offense, did not look good in the spring game. And Alabama's out here trying to say, oh, it's because our defense is really, really good. Well, I don't know, Bama man. I really don't know. Maybe your defense is good, or maybe your offense is just bad. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's almost the same defense uh, that you gave up 52 points to Tennessee to, and you lose Will Anderson. Um, but, yeah, man, Bama. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I still think Bama's going to be a good team. But, listen. When I was a kid, well, I'm technically somewhat still a kid, but not really. But when I was a, a kid kid, <laughs> I was watching Alabama play. And Alabama looked so dominant when I watched them play. Every single time. They watched, they looked so dominant. They were the monsters of college football. No one could beat them. So now people look at him and look say, Alabama looks beatable. Um, don't get me wrong, Alabama's still a good team. I mean, they're Alabama. But this is not the same Alabama that I've seen when I was a kid. It's 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 not. I'm being honest. It's not the same Alabama. It's not the same Alabama. Um But yeah, there's a lot of people saying stuff like the dynasty is dying, all this stuff. Listen, every single time somebody says that the Alabama dynasty is dead, they go Alabama gets right back up and then goes on and wins the national championship like the next one or two years or something like that. But uh, I'm not here to say the dynasty is dead. I do think it is dying, though. Because, uh, I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched a spring game of Alabama's, but there's a lot of people I've heard say that Alabama did not look good in the spring game, especially offensively. People tell them, saying how bad Jalen Milrow looked, how bad Ty Simpson looked. Of course, they're five-star quarterback. Um, people just did not like how Bama looked in the spring game. <laughs> and I'm not going to take anything away because – I mean, it's a spring game, and in my opinion, you can't really judge how teams look based off of spring games. But <sighs> then bringing in Tyler Buckner uh, somewhat shows that <sighs> Alabama that uh, they don't trust their quarterback situation with Jalen Milrow or Ty Simpson. Um, and I've heard some rumors on Twitter and YouTube about how Tyler Van Dyke was going to go to Alabama. <laughs> well, those rumors are now officially put to rest. Tyler Van Dyke, he's not going anywhere. He's going to stay at Miami. Um, of course, he hasn't, Tyler Van Dyke hasn't said anything, but I think he's going to stay at Miami. Um, so yeah, Bama, you're going to be stuck with, uh, three bozos at quarterback. Um. But, yeah, man. Tennessee could definitely beat Alabama next year. I mean, it is in Tuscaloosa, though, so it is going to be a challenge. I do think we can beat Alabama next year, though. Will we, though? I don't know. It's just wait and see. We'll just have to wait for the fall. But I think we can beat Alabama. It, I think we can. But, yeah, man, Alabama just ain't the same dominant force that I used to watch when I was a kid. They're not. 
They're not as good as they were. They're not. And honestly, that the, the, that's one of the things you love to see. Man. And now Georgia's starting to become the new Alabama. Man, I don't know why. Georgia fans don't deserve it. Honestly, Tennessee fans deserve it. Tennessee should be the new Alabama. But yeah. But yeah, um, I just wanted to come on here quickly and tell you guys about Tyler Buckner heading to Alabama. Um, who knows? Maybe Bama could actually find it out on offense this year. There's a lot of people saying how Bama's uh, quarterback situation, their wide receivers didn't look good. Man, whatever happened to Bama wide receivers? They used to have Jamison Williams, Henry Ruggs, Devontae Smith, uh, like Jerry Judy, so many other good receivers that are, of course, now in the NFL. It's having a bunch of no names. Whatever happened? But yeah, um, just want to come on here and say the Bama Dynasty is falling apart, and I'll see you guys next time.